Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today, find out how you can make some new friends while doing some good here at school. Also, find out which of your favorite teachers are nominated for this year's Heart of Education Award. All this and more today on FST News. Today is Friday, April 28th. I'm Summer Reyes. And I'm Sarah Davis, this week's special guest and one of the co-presidents for our school's choir. Each year, the Clark County School District awards 20 teachers with a cash gift, a trophy, and a $1,000 prize to the recipient's school for just being an awesome teacher. Kaylee Goodwin tells us more. To say the least, teachers change our lives. They show how to go the extra mile to make sure that students get the best of their education. One of the ways that teachers are able to get recognition for what they do is the Heart of Education contest. Over 200 teachers from Clark County were entered, and now six Fordell teachers are finalists. Laura Borison, Lynn Lozell, Marina Lohmeyer, Matt Mayhood, Sherry Smith, and Cindy McLeod. Lozell said that it is an honor to be a finalist, seeing as teachers do not get much recognition. Teachers don't get a lot of accolades, and so when students and stuff, you know, when they give you some accolades, it's just, it's really, it's really special. It's really nice. McLeod said she became a teacher to help students, and that's what she has done. It took me a long time to go through my college experience, and I finally decided that I was definitely going to make that decision in my life and reach the goal that I always wanted to reach and help as many students as I could along the way. Mayhood said that being a finalist means that he feels appreciated. You know, for me, being a finalist for the Heart of Education Awards, um, really just, it, it's a couple things. First, that I'm appreciated by those who nominated me. And second, it's, um, it's, it's a good accolade telling me that what I'm doing is important. Laura Meyer said that she is thankful to be nominated, seeing as teaching takes a big part of her life. To uh, realize that teaching takes a lot of your life, your time, and I've just always devoted myself to my students first. Borison said that she's just honored to be a finalist. I was honored just to be nominated, and then when I found out that I was a finalist, I was really excited and just, just really honored. And finally, Smith stated that she's thankful for all the students who have walked through her door. I am thankful for all the students, past and present, that have walked through my doors. They make getting up in the morning worth it, and they make coming to work and do what I do every day worth it. Teachers work hard to be the best. Keep watching FST News for more about the Heart of Education Awards. The awards are being presented tomorrow night at the Smith Center. For Kaylee Goodwin, I'm Logan Winter, FST News. Yeah, it's better. Thanks, guys, and good luck to all the teachers nominated at tomorrow's gala. As we all know, rapidly approaching us is prom, and even though the dance is tomorrow, you can start voting for the prom king and queen and prince and princess now. That's right, vote. And all you need is to go on foothill.votingforschools.com and enter your student ID along with your birthday, month, day, year. And juniors can vote for the junior class prince and princess, and all seniors can vote for the 2017 senior king and queen. It happens every year because our school's art department is so talented, and it happened again this year. Foothill High School made it to the top 50 of 3,000 schools in the Vans Custom Culture Contest. In order to help out Foothill and vote for them for the Southwest region, you can vote at customculture.vans.com. And if you can't remember that, then you can go to the fstnews.com and select the school news tab and click on Vote for Vans. A congratulations to the following artists for placing Foothill at top. You can vote once a year just using your email or once a day just using your email address from now until May 11th. If you want to see some competing shoe designs, you can view them on display in the 300 hallways. The end of the year is quickly approaching and seniors are leaving, but now freshmen are coming and then the in at the school is trying to recruit Link Crew members for next year. The Link Crew is a high school transition program that welcomes freshmen and makes them feel comfortable throughout their first year of the high school experience. If you are interested in becoming a Link Crew leader for next year, any current sophomore and or junior are allowed to apply. The applications are located in the main office and are due by May 5th. So make sure to pick up yours today and put yourself out there to help the incoming class of 2021. 
Monday is the final day of ninth grade science and end of course exams. Exams keep going until the end of May, so stay on top of it and remember to show up at 705 sharp and to bring a form of ID. Things are always happening around the city every day. It's tough to keep up with them all. Jocelyn Perez. Tell us about big festivals hitting our city this weekend. Good morning, Jocelyn. Good morning, guys. This week's Henderson Happenings event is the Great American Foodie Fest. The festival is today from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m., Saturday from noon to 11 p.m., and Sunday from noon to 10 p.m. in the parking lot of the Sunset Station. The festival features over 50 food vendors, carnival rides, and of course, eating competitions. General admission tickets are just $10 a person and can be purchased in line or at the fest. That's all for this week's Henderson Happenings. Go to fstnews.com and type Foodie Fest into the search bar for a link to purchase tickets. Summer, Sayer, back to you. Over the week, you might have noticed some important dates trending on social media, from Take Your Child to Work Day to Superhero Day. Those trends took over Twitter. FST News' is Angela Ely and Ariel Byrus take, take us online. Thanks, Summer. As many of you around campus know, Thursday was Take Your Child to Work Day. The holiday is officially called Take Your Sons and Daughters to Work Day and was first started in 1993 in New York City. Today, the holiday is now celebrated in over 200 countries and reaches over 3.5 million businesses around the world. Superman and Captain America superheroes are extremely popular these days. With new blockbuster superhero movies, games, and good old-fashioned comic books coming out all the time, it's hard not to like these fictional heroes or villains. Well, luckily for their fans, Friday was Superhero Day. Users on Twitter showed some love for their favorite and even argued over whether Marvel or DC was better. However, some took some time to appreciate the real superheroes in their own life. Whichever you did, hopefully you had a super day on Superhero Day. That's all for Twitter Trends. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at FST News. We'll tweet you later. After the break, find out all the sporting events going on around the hill with Zoe and Kakoa. Just one night all we got. Just one night all we got. Just one night all we got. Just one night I got it. Sports starts now. What's up, Falcons? Starting off with volleyball, our boys did great against Sierra Vista. All teams took a win last night against the Sierra Vista Lions, with freshmen and JV both scoring 2-0, and varsity winning 3-1. Varsity coach Miranda tells us how he felt the game went. Uh, season's been going great so far. We're doing much better than I think a lot of people expected us to do. Um, we're third seed in our conference right now. Next week, we've got a um, big game against Liberty on May 2nd, and then an even bigger game against Green Valley. If we can beat them, we could probably take second in our uh, conference. With, with the se uh, season coming to a close, and there will be only three more games left for you to participate in and cheer on your team. May 2nd is the last game for our home game for our Falcon volleyball players, so the Falcon volleyball team and FST Sports is calling out everyone to pack the stands. May 2nd, last home game, senior night against Liberty. Be there. Spread the word. Woo! Sounds like, a, it, sounds like it was a great game. I'm so excited for the last home game of the season. Up next, softball and baseball are taking on El Dorado today at 3.30. Varsity will be playing here at the Hill, and JV head on down to El Dorado High School. 
Today and tomorrow, Dive and Swim are competing against Silverado. Dive is starting off tonight at 545 at the UNLV pool, and Swim is paddling on at 8 tomorrow morning. Well, that's all the sports going on around the hill. We'll catch you later, Falcons. Now back to you, Summer. Thanks, guys. So, Sarah, you said earlier on the show that you are the co-president for choir? I am. And you guys just recently took a trip, right? Yeah, we did, yeah. We went to Seattle for four days, and then on our last day, we went to uh, Vancouver, Canada. Man, why did you go to Canada? Uh, we just, it was closer to Seattle, and so we just thought it would be a fun day trip. We didn't uh, do any singing there or anything. We just thought it would be fun. But you did singing in Seattle. We did, yep. We did singing in Seattle. We competed at a Heritage Festival there against about 20 other choirs. 20 other? How'd you guys do? Uh, our show choir plays first, and so did Chamber, and we both got per gold performances in our, uh, in our contest, and then we uh, had two soloists get awards for their solos. Nice! And so you guys have um, a thing coming up tonight? We do, yeah. It's our cabaret night. And so it's uh, tonight at 6.30, and it's a bunch of solo acts performing, um, and there's refreshments and stuff like that. And so if it's $3 to attend, free for CCSD employees. Well, cool. Thank you so much for anchoring with me today. You're a great co-anchor. Um, that is all that we have for you today. Before we go, just a reminder to teachers, make sure to be, to be collecting money for the Interact Club Miracle Minute today. From all of us here at FS2NSU, have a great and a safe prom weekend.